Hello, welcome to my GIMP video tutorial series. In this video I will show you the GIMP Fuzzy Select tool. So in this video I will show you how to use the GIMP Fuzzy Select tool. First select an image you want to use, or you can press Ctrl plus O to open, and select an image you want to use. After selecting the image, go to Layer, Transparency, and click Add Alpha Channel to make our image transparent. Go to your Fuzzy Select tool or you can press U key to use Fuzzy Select tool. Click to enable the feather edges and the draw mask. Draw mask is just the way you can see what you do. After that, hold your mouse left to the background image, and as you can see, you will see a pink color spreading to the parts of the background. That's where it will be cut or removed if we use Ctrl plus X key. You can also change the value of threshold by moving your mouse cursor down, while still holding your mouse left to increase the value of fuzzy select tool threshold. Or moving your mouse cursor to up while still holding your mouse left to decrease the value of fuzzy select tool threshold. Or you can change it right here. After choosing a certain area to cut or remove the background, Release your mouse left to see, or show a selection to where the part of the background is going to be cut or remove. After that, press Ctrl plus X key to remove the background. After removing, you will see that there are some remaining background colors. Do this again by doing the same step. After clearing or removing all the remaining background colors, then export it as PNG format. And that's pretty much of it on how to use the GIMP Fuzzy Select tool. If you want to watch another video related, or relevant to this video you're watching right now, I have a playlist for you to watch. Just click right here. It has a list of sequenced video tutorials for you to watch. I recommended to you to watch this video tutorials in a sequence, starting from top to bottom video. If this video found to be helpful, or useful, leave a comment below, and also, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon for more tutorial videos in the future, and thank you for watching this video tutorial, and have a good day.